Low iron or ferritin is a big problem for lots of runners. In today's video, we're gonna break down why low iron is an issue, how to screen iron levels, and what to do about them. My name is Nathan Carlson. I'm a running specific physical therapist. Let's get into today's video. Iron is often seen as a normal thing for distance runners, where I feel like it should be more of a check engine light for someone's health and overall well being. And iron plays an essential role in many different functions, including energy production, myoglobin function, brain function, immune function, enzyme synthesis, and bone health. Iron is a lot on its plate. With athletes, we often focus on how iron delivers oxygen to exercising tissues. Kind of important. Humans get iron into their body mostly from their diet, coming from two different sources. Heme iron, which comes from animal products, and non-heme iron, which comes from plant-based products. Heme iron gives us a bigger bang for our buck, where non-heme iron sources require much more volume to get to the same amount of iron, because non-heme iron is not as easily absorbed in the body. Many athletes, especially the high school kids that I work with, will get their iron levels screened at the start of a training season. And it's very common for their ferritin levels, one way for us to measure iron, to be relatively low, or not high enough for the demands of an endurance athlete. I've often had patients that have normal ferritin levels, but they're drastically low for the demands of an endurance athlete and likely need to be on supplementation. So these numbers must be interpreted by someone that has an understanding of the demands of running and the fact that iron levels tend to dip throughout a training season. So you likely want a higher number going into a big progression of training. When iron levels are low, you can develop iron deficiency anemia, which causes fatigue, weakness, and other health issues. Unfortunately, humans lose a little bit of iron each day that must be replenished through their diet. Runners also lose a little bit of iron through mechanical destruction with every foot strike. So you can see how it would be easy for a runner to develop iron deficiency anemia when their training goes up and they're not getting enough iron through their diet. As iron levels dip, we see three different stages as highlighted by this table. Stage one being just iron deficiency, stage two, iron deficient non-anemia, and stage three, iron deficiency anemia. Iron is also closely linked to bone health as it's been shown that dietary iron intake is linked to bone density because bones are made of collagen and iron helps in collagen synthesis. Collagen synthesis is the building blocks of your bones. So if an athlete is iron deficient, their bones might be more likely to break. Once we know that someone is iron deficient, there's a couple different ways that this can be supplemented. First is just through diet. Second is through oral medications, something that I commonly see with my high school and college athletes. And third would be IV infusions. Sometimes athletes assume that just doing that supplement is gonna solve the problem, when I think it's really important that you should make sure you know why this happened in the first place. Supplement Supplementation is going to be helpful to get your numbers back up to normal levels, but you still have to investigate why it happened in the first place. It's really important to get your iron levels checked at least once a year and possibly more often depending on your situation. This is highlighted by this table by Sim and colleagues that looked at annual, biannual, or quarterly iron testing depending on your situation. Screening and managing low iron levels is really important and it's easy to forget for a lot of endurance athletes where there's so much focus on training decisions and peaking for racing. You have to make sure that your health status is in a good place first before anything happens in training. I think it's really important that endurance athletes connect with a physician that has a specific skill set with endurance athletes because of the sport's unique demands. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks again for watching.